All right, what's up guys? Today I'm just going to go in over support and resistance levels, what they are, how to use them, and how to incorporate them in your trading strategy. Support and resistance levels or price levels are essentially just where price action is bouncing off of, where it's reversing off of, or however you want to put it. Um, typically, I like to find areas where the price action is bouncing off of three times, right? So I want to see the price action bounce off that price level at least three times before I consider it a price level. So for example, right here, there's obviously an area of bounce. You can see it bounced here and it bounced right here, but I wouldn't consider this a very strong support as it only hit twice, right? We got a hit here and a hit here, that's two times. So let's move up and find where it hit three times. So right here, it looks very strong. And of course there are some wicks sticking through, but just keep in mind that your price levels are never going to be perfect or exact. But with that out of the way, you can see we obviously had a hit here, here, and then multiple here another one here and two here so it's a very very strong support level this looks like we have six or maybe even seven touches where it hit and immediately bounced up now we want to find the next level of um, the next price level in this case i guess it would be a resistance level so we want to find the same thing where the price action hit off of and it bounced right back down so you could argue it could be right here we could even go a little bit higher potentially to capture a full move which I think I'll go right in the middle just to kind of get the gist of it because remember, they're not going to be perfect. So as you can see here, this would be a very strong resistance level as the price action kind of went up and then it kind of consolidated and went down, went back up, kind of had a hard time breaking it before it finally broke it. And then once it came back down and consolidated in this area, you can see it topped out here, right here, topped out here. We get touch here, some consolidation right here, some more touching, and then we get a lot of bouncing off over in this area. You could draw another price level right here, for example, capture these wicks here. You can see we're capturing these wicks here, this consolidation area here. It's touching right here, or it's basically barely touching it. And then of course, bouncing off here before it broke off and then multiple times where it hit here. All right, so now I'm gonna jump into a different play. This is SGH, and I'm gonna actually show you how you can use these support and resistance levels to uh, make better entries and just trade off. Now, of course, you don't want to solely trade off support and resistance, but in this instance, I'm just going to show you as if you were. So once again, we want to find an area of support. Remember, they're not going to be perfect, but we want to aim for at least three bounces. So I would say right about here is good. This is about 41.30 cents. So if you can see here, we had a bounce here, a bounce here, almost touched here, but it did touch here, here, and here. And then you could draw another level of support Right here, as you can see, is we're definitely getting some bouncing here, here, and then it broke through a few times, but there's definitely some bouncing. However, I'm not going to draw this one just as because it's not as relevant to the play we're playing. So now that I have my primary support level at about 41.30, I now want to find my resistance level. So we're going to go up and see where the price action is bouncing off of. So it looks like we're getting some touches of the wicks here, a little bit of sticking through, but I would say this is overall pretty perfect spot. We kind of get it consolidating at this point here. We've got a wick touching here, another one here, some more consolidation, and then multiple bounces right here before it finally broke through. But you see it was kind of struggling as it hit the resistance, resistance level multiple times before finally breaking through. And then, of course, the same goes for over here. Now, how could you actually trade with this? Well, if you see, every time you bought in at the support level, you would have been making money, right? So if you bought in at this level, you would have made 16 percent right so you buy at the support level or the area of support and you sell at the area of resistance same goes for here and uh, most recently this is where i played it i bought in this area of support and i sold out at this area of resistance yielding me about 17 15 percent is what i think i got now of course you don't want to solely buy off of support like when it came down to this area right here i didn't solely just buy it just because it was at my support level i of course looked at my indicators my rsi my macd vortex indicator and of course, the main thing we're looking at here is price action history. The reason I thought it would bounce here is because in the past, it bounced at this level of support. 